Alright, now we shall see how to do completing the squares to form the general equation of an ellipse so that it is easier for us to actually sketch the ellipse. Now from this expression or from this equation, uh, we need to see whether this actually represents the equation of an ellipse. Now how do we know? Okay, we look at the, the x square and the y square. So the x square and the y square. Now we see that the coefficient of x square and y square over here, this one is 9, this one is 4, they are not the same. So when they are not the same, it is probably going to be an ellipse. If the coefficient of x square and y square are the same, then it's going to be a circle instead. Now another thing that we should also look for is that if are there any terms which are of the form x times y. If there are no terms of x of the form x times y, then it is okay for us to actually see that it is a probably an ellipse. Now in order for us to make sure that we need to complete squares. Now for us to complete squares, we need to partition the equation into two parts, the x variable and then the y variable. Right. So from here what we do is we take the x variable. Okay, so 9x squared minus 36x. So for us to complete squares, so remember that we must try to make the coefficient of x square 1. Right. So using the template method, the method, right, so we do this, we form the template. This time there are no uh, constants over this side, so that's why they, we don't have any constants over this side, as uh, shown in the previous snippet. So how do we actually form the completed square form? Uh, we need to insert some things inside here. So this one must be x to correspond with this x square. So if this is x, down here must be x as well. Now uh, we know that this one down here is 2x times something. We need to correspond with this negative 4x. So what do we need to put inside here? It should be negative 2. So once that is negative 2, down here will be negative 2. Now the inclusion of negative 2 squared here will make the equation imbalanced. So we need to minus negative 2 squared. So in the end, as previously shown in the previous lesson, the complete square form will be x minus 2 squared, alright, and minus 4. So in the end, you will have 9 times x minus 2 squared minus 36. Okay, so this is uh, for the x variable part. Now for the y variable part, we do the same. Uh, let's see how to do it. For the y variable part, we take out the y variable to be 4y squared minus 4y. So again, we take out the coefficient of y squared so that we can make the coefficient of y squared 1. So we have y squared minus 6y. Okay. Forming the template again, I will have this. Okay. Alright, so now we start to insert things into the bracket. This must be y to correspond with this y squared. Uh, this must be y also. Now this whole thing is 2y times something to give you negative 6y. So down here must be negative 3. If this is negative 3, down here is also negative 3. You subtract back the negative 3 squared so that the equation will be balanced. So now we can form the form to square form. So you have y minus 3 squared. Minus 9. Okay, so in the end you will have 4y minus 3 squared minus 36. Okay, so once we have formed the completed square forms, we can now form back the proper ellipse general equation. Okay, which will look like this. So initially we have 9x squared minus 36x. Plus 4y square plus 24y um, plus 36 equals to 0. So this part here just now we completed the square and we also did it for y. So now we bring back all these things. So we will have 9x minus 2 square minus 36. This is for the x variable plus 4 times y minus 3 squared minus 36 alright and you 
plus the constant which is already there um, from here we will notice that um, this 36 and this 36 can cancel off so we have left just this 36 which we can bring to the right hand side and now we can have 9 times x minus 2 squared plus 4 times y minus 3 squared which is equal to 36 okay so take note that now this is still not the general form that we are familiar with so in order for us to get the general form of an ellipse remember that this part here need to be 1 so what do we do we divide by 36 throughout so dividing by 36 throughout you will have x minus 2 squared divided by 4 plus y minus 3 squared divided by 9 is equal to 1 okay so from here finally we have x minus 2 squared over 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared over 3 squared which is equal to 1 in this case and now it is more obvious okay uh, that this is the general form of the ellipse uh, just to recap if your this part here 2 squared and 3 squared if they are of the same value then we know it is a circle we can multiply by throughout and then we can get the radius over the right hand side over here so for this case this is the ellipse that we have formed